Hey, oh, you can hear us now? Oh, cool. Can you hear us? Apparently. So everyone can hear us technical now. Technical difficulties. All right. We're going to do, we're going to start from the top. And pretend uh, that we haven't said all the things that we just said. We said all the things. We said Those all of, of you them. who can read lips out there, uh, I hopefully we say all the same things. Yeah. Welcome to Weekly MTG. Yes, welcome. <laughs> welcome very much. Uh, so today we're doing unboxings. Yep. It's Christmas in October here. Yep. Uh, we're going to show off uh, one product that's already out, a few products that are about to come out, and then at the end of the show we're going to talk about the holiday promo, and then we're going to talk about a product test that we've yeah. got coming up that will kind of be, you'll see it out there, it's not going to be terribly available, but uh, uh, it's kind of... Interesting, yeah. and you might see it happening. So we're going to uh, open up some cool stuff. Uh, the products that we're going to be opening today are the Spellslinger Starter Kit, already in stores. Uh, we're going to be opening up the Gift Pack, which comes out November 16. Game Night, which also comes out November 16. And, of course, out front, the Guild Kits from the Guilds Guild of Ravnica, kits. which yeah. come out uh, November 2nd, actually. So in just uh, one about one short week. Yeah. Or one long week. We're not going to open all the Guild Kits on camera. We might yeah. afterwards, because yeah. they're cool. They're very I cool. I want them. But... Uh, <laughs> Besides that, hashtag, like that's not what this show is about. Hashtag Watsy staff. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna start by opening the Spellslinger starter yeah, kit. So that's what this is. This is the Spellslinger starter kit. Yeah. And uh, the thing about today's products is that I, a lot of them are for different audiences. Different we make audiences. a lot of different yep. products. And uh, we're gonna switch over to the camera where you can see a little bit more of what we're gonna unbox. And so. then I'll. And then while while Steve's hand, yeah. beautiful hands, he could have been a hand model. I could have been. Uh, he's been. gonna un unbox these things, and I'll talk a little bit about uh, what they are and who they're intended for. There we go. So that's the this. Spellslinger yeah. starter kit. So this is intended for absolute beginners. So people who have never played a game of Magic the Gathering before. If you turn it over, there's a little thing on the back that says "Open." Is in there the, in the middle top? Is there? Oh, push to open. Yeah, How push about to that? open. How about that? That's so that's so convenient, and I should have looked for that. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. Uh, I, hey, hand, we're, hand model. We're doing it live. Hand model, hand not model. not yeah. opening opening human. Well, why male yeah. models? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so this is the Spellslinger starter kit, and when I like you crack my way it of opening open, it better. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> you do you. All right, here we go. So first thing you get when you open it that way is you get a little booklet, and the booklet. Tells you all about what you should be doing with this here product. Uh, so this is, again, meant specifically for people playing literally their first game of Magic. So it'll have a lot of instructions. It'll talk about what Magic is. The five colors. The some five of the, colors. Some of the, a lot of the things that people who are watching this show will be very, very familiar with. Yes. So, so this is good for teaching people how to play. Or, or for people to learn on their own how to play, yeah. frankly. Because yep. not everybody has really good friends yep. to... Help them, help them teach. Yeah, and uh, all these products that we're going to be opening today, the products are all available pretty much anywhere. So big box stores, uh, also at uh, Hobby Channels, that sort of deal. So note, uh, the, uh, in the upper left-hand part of your frame, you'll see do not shuffle at the top. So these decks, uh, and there's two of them, why don't you flip them over too so that they can see that they're... So each one has... Uh, Pretty cool card right up front. Uh, and each deck is packed in an order for you to open it up and play without shuffling. So the reason for that is, one, for a lot of new players, shuffling is not super intuitive. And for another, uh, we it's a curated game experience. So right out of the box, uh, these decks are in an order. Nobody's going to miss land drops. Nobody's going to um, have difficulty with colors. It's just set up to teach you how to play. And these cards will give you basically step-by-step -step instructions on what to do, when to do it, how to do it, the order, so that people can just get used to it. A lot of magic, uh, learning magic is just the repetition, just doing the thing. Because I can tell you to tap a card all day, but until you actually do it and feel it, uh, it's not, it doesn't click quite yeah. as well. So the, the cards to warn you, you know, do not shuffle on the back, they have the turn order. Yep. But uh, the real the real key are these quick start guides. Yep. Yeah, so if you open it up, we'll, we'll show you a little bit. But uh, it'll tell you exactly what you're going to be doing on your turn one, turn two, et cetera, et cetera, for both decks. Yep. So it's a it's a nice guided game in, in a similar way that you might do with your friends if you're trying to teach them magic. So. Yep. And of course, I mean, the decks are super replayable if you shuffle them up. Uh, if you... You can go to Daily MTG and see the deck lists, of course. Um, now, these aren't chock full of tournament cards or anything like that. 
uh, but they are meant to be fun, playable right out of the box, uh, so they are really good for new players. Yeah. yeah. So let's move on to, well, let's, let's do a guild kit. Yeah, you, you want to do a guild kit uh, now? Those, those are, chronologically, those are the next ones okay. coming up. Okay, all right. Uh, I'm, I, I really want to open the Is It one. We can, we can open up let's the open it. We're we'll going to open, open, open the Is so, It one. I'll, so, I'll, yeah, I'll right the, for, for <laughs> each of the five guilds of Guilds of Ravnica, uh, there's a guild kit. And we're doing the same thing for uh, Ravnica Allegiance as well. So those five guilds will come out then. Uh, so, yeah, guild kit comes. It has pictures of uh, some of the cards on the back. Uh, and there's a, alternate art. New art, Nimbus at the Fire yep. Mind, which is very cool. I love Nimbus at the Fire Mind. Nimbus is possibly my favorite character in all of Magic. So you didn't show them the open thing. I didn't. Well, because I wanted to test it to make sure it worked, okay. worked well first, right? So uh, on the side, you'll actually see uh, up here, it's, it's tough to identify, but it says open, and you can just slide your finger down here, and it'll open up real, real nice. Yeah. Just like that. Very easy. And so we'll take this out. So the guild kits come with a few different things, Blake. Some accoutrement. Some will. accoutrement, as you, as you uh, might say. Uh, the coolest thing, I think, is this, this pin. Um, I, really like, I really like the fact that we're doing guild pins. Uh, where for, for sharp, sharp eyed viewers might see that I sport my Azorius pin and every that, week. That is whether we're on the show or not. It's he true. always has the Azorius pin. I always pin. have it. I always have it. So uh, it comes with this very nice metal pin. It is, it is metal. Uh, the back has a sort of a safety pin fastener. And I do, I do like these a fair amount because this is the fancy one where uh, you, have to, you have to twist the thing to make sure it get, doesn't make oh, it sorry. get in. There you go. Yeah. So here we go. So this is the fancy one where you have to actually twist this. Uh, this thing to open and close it, so it does usually stay pretty secure. Uh, but like, it's a very nice, it's a very nice. Is it design? Mm -hmm. Is it? It is. It is. It is. It is. Yeah. It is. Uh, so love that. Uh, one of the other things it has, uh, if we want to stay in on the shot, is uh, the spin down die, spin down life counter. Uh, if you went to the pre-release and you uh, you got the is it pre-release kit, you mm -hmm. did get one of these as well. These are the same ones. Yep. So you're not getting anything different there, but it's nice to have, right? The Is It Guild symbol is really awesome. Uh, another thing that you get is, uh, and we can, we can probably zoom out a little bit for this, uh, you get a, a deck list that has a cool-looking uh, guild letter uh, that you know, we, we designed here in-house with the deck list mm -hmm. as well. Uh, Each of them is very flavorful. Um, I've heard internally, I think... People like the Boros one a lot, uh, are, and then Is are, It I think was number two. And... Are people are people Mark Purvis? Because Mark people, Purvis people really are Mark Boros. Purvis. Yes. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, you get this, and you also get a sticker uh, with your with the Guild's logo mm -hmm. on it, which is nice. Yep. So those are those are the accoutrements that you get, as uh, as as Blake says, the accoutrements. But we also want to show off some of the some of the cards that you get. Yeah. As well. So yeah, let's go back to the overhead shots. Yeah. And. Uh, because that Niv Mizzet is, it's is pretty, real it's cool. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. Mm, there it is. Niv Mizzet, the Fire Mind. Uh, that is a that is a foil Niv Mizzet, the Fire Mind, with mm -hmm. the new legendary frame. Yep. Uh, with new art, and what people uh, might not notice, uh, Mary, who is our producer, would you be able to zoom in on uh, that that spot right there? That is the guild symbol for the Is It, uh, in, where where the set symbol would normally yep. go. So if it's not a card that is currently in standard in, uh, in uh, Guilds of Ravnica. So the cards that are in the guild kits that are Guilds of Ravnica cards will have the Guilds of Ravnica set symbol. Will, so I'm, we'll, I'm putting a Radix Cyclops right next to So you can see that, that right there. The, top. the ones that are not standard legal have a set symbol that is the Guild's logo. Yes. So the that is symbol. not the logo for the entire, all the guild kits. If you open up a Boros one, they have different Symbols that look like the Boros fist. For example, example, uh, Tibor and Lumia. Yep. Uh, has the has the is it guild symbol? Because Tibor, Tibor and Lumia are uh, originally in uh, Guild Pact, I think. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, also has the new legendary frame, which mm -hmm. is great. Uh, and then we've, it's uh, the best part about these guild kits is that they feature cards across every set that we've ever done on Ravnica. Yes, every um, single Ravnica set is represented in each of these guild kits. Uh, the other thing that is represented in these Ravnica guild kits are the uh, are the basic guild kit basic lands. Yeah, which are these very, are very very cool. So very let's... very cool. So uh, yeah, there we go right at the edge. So there's these are the is it lands, uh, and they feature uh, these two. I believe it's just these two uh, images. 
of uh, with the with the is it crackle uh, guild symbol. Yep. Mana boxes. Right and there. so there's one of each of these of each basic land for uh, both of the guilds that represent it. So you, in the Boros Guild kit, you'll get a different mountain that is Boros flavored. In the Demir Guild kit, you'll get a Demir island that is Demir flavored. Right. And uh, so you you will get. Every island and every mountain in the Izzet Guild Kit will be this island and this mountain. Yeah. Um, that, that is the way it is supposed to be. So that's, <laughs> that's the way that it is. But yeah, every, every Guilds of Ravnica card that is included in these Guild Kits have, have the Guilds of Ravnica symbol yep. on them. So. And these are meant to be playable right out of the box, right against each other. Um, same thing for the upcoming RNA ones. Uh, so yeah, these come out November 2nd. Uh, the MSRP in North America only is nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, so lots of lots of really great things. And when you are done with uh, with all of these, with, with your deck, you know, playing playing some magical games, you can use this this box that comes with it uh, that is emblazoned with the the Is It League. Oh, is it? It is. I can't believe I did that. I apologize, <laughs> everyone. That's not my role on this show. It is, that that is my role. It's sort of a uh, role reversal today. It is. It was, I it feel was, like, it was weird. Uh, but this it didn't feel good. So there out there of my is mouth. a little bit more room in this box. You can see, uh, and I believe that is because if you want to use some sleeves, yeah. you should be able to sleeve this up and put it into this box. Yep, it's pretty great. So yeah, so that is the guild kits. And Next. there are also four more of those. There so are. One for each of the GRN guilds. Yeah. So if you want to uh, if you want to get your, your favorite guild, you can do that. Yep. Which is good. Yep. So those come out yep. November second, just okay. next week. Yep. Uh, next let's move on to how about game night? Game night. Game night's the sure. one in the, the weirdly shaped box. Yeah, the five the one, two, three. Yes, five pointed box. Good job. I can Thank count. you. I can count five five pointed box. Uh, and that is uh, at least partially because I know that there are five decks in here. There are five decks. So yeah. this is a multiplayer focused product. So the idea with this one is, is let's say that um, five friends wander into a game store and they're like, hey, what's this magic thing? We'd that like sounds, to, That sounds like, like the start of a joke. Five friends wander five into Five friends a game wander store. into Mox Boring House. Yeah. Uh, so the goal with this is that you can pull this off the shelf and play with up to five people all at once, uh, there are five decks in it, one for each color. Uh, and the decks are actually meant to be not only multiplayer friendly, but you can kind of mix and match and uh, mash them together. Uh, the whole product comes with everything you need to play Magic with these decks against your friends. So you'll notice what's sitting up top there, Steve. What is that? Uh, well, this is a, uh, you, you know a lot of board games have sort of those punch card yep. uh, things that you use. This is uh, one of those punch card things. There are plus one, plus one counters on here, but there are also little uh, little cardboard things for the spin down life counters that are in here, one mm -hmm. for each color. So uh, we can we can pop this out just like just like that, and uh, it is it's nice and flat, so you can you can set your we'll do it this way. You can set your life counter on it so that it doesn't move as much, which is nice. Mm -hmm. It's very good. So as you can see, the the place here uh, there there's a slot for each deck. Uh, and then we'll just we'll just grab the the red one. We'll move this off the off camera for a second. But uh, we have this red deck, which is called according to the uh, according to the card on here. It says Unleash Chaos. And there are little statistics on here for people that uh, that enjoy enjoy little bars on, on <laughs> enjoy little bars enjoy little bars <laughs> just you know, uh, enjoy little yeah, bars yeah enjoy little bars on the thing. Uh, but it's it says how fast it is, uh, how many creatures it has, or how reliant it is on creatures. Uh, the number of spells it has, and the level of complexity. If you wanna, if you wanna look at that stuff, so it's a way for people that uh, enjoy magic or maybe just want a fun card experience, like a, a board game yeah. or something like that, it, uh, can can gauge whether or not this is the right deck for them. Well, and that and it's so. that's kind of that's exactly what it's meant. Not kind of that's exactly what it's meant to be is a board game experience. So you'll take this home. And you can break it out, and again, you play it immediately out of the box. Now, this one, uh, unlike the Spellsinger Starter Kit, requires you to have some magic knowledge, not a ton, uh, because it, again, it comes with rules. So here, you can show off the yep. play guide and rule book. Uh, so it, it comes with a rule book and, that'll uh, give you all the. And it's details. for those of you that are familiar with board games, it is a, it is very similar to a board game rule book. Yep. Frankly, uh, you know, it tells you what what's in the box. Uh, what what you're gonna want to do if you if you decide to just play immediately? What setup looks like? Uh, so you know this is uh, 
and basic, here, here are the decks that are included in the thing. Here's some of the key cards mm -hmm. that you're going to want to want to look for and look to cast at opportune times. So, yeah, there. Uh, if you if you want to play Magic with your friends on a multiplayer level, it's a really really good, uh, really good like just out of the box. You don't need to mm -hmm. improve the decks at all if you don't want so to. So the other thing we want to show off with this one is each deck comes with a unique. Hard. It does, and you saw a little bit of it in the Unleash Chaos deck. There is the Goblin Goliath for that, yep. and we will um, uh, up a little bit. Oh, oh, uh, 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 uh. Here, if, if you want to zoom out, we're gonna we're gonna do all, right. all five. So, oh, are we? Cool. I'm gonna open this one. Uh, so these cards are uh, <laughs> to put it on the right mods. Yep. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so these <laughs> unique cards are all multiplayer focused. Yeah. So each of them refers to the number of opponents that you have, and it's, uh, it's intended for that. They are, the new cards are standard legal, uh, but honestly, they're not, uh, they're not intended for that. They are meant to be played in multiplayer games. So, you know, they, some of them might be decent for commander, uh, some of them might be decent for just casual multiplayer, but all of them are meant to be played Multiplayer. Here's here's the blue one. Uh, That's my it. contribution. There we go. Contribution. Contribution. But these all, these decks also come with some cool cards. So I just opened up the blue one. Uh, blue comes with Zahid, Jin of the Lamp, uh, and Psy, Master Thopterist. So they've got some uh, one with the machine. Black um, uh, Black has Languish. And Black Death has Baron. Languish, Death Baron. Yeah. Uh, green, I think, has Galta and uh, Turn 3 Gigantosaurus. Ah, yes, the turn three Gigantosaurus. The turn three Gigantosaurus. You gotta, you gotta play your Lanamar Elves turn one. Yeah. So that you can play your Gigantosaurus turn three. This deck can actually do that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then the, uh, the red deck comes with a Siege Gang Commander, if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah. So there's some cool things in these decks, and they're really fun to play against each other. And then once you're done playing with them, you can mix and match them. Uh, they're really meant to um, be a holistic game experience in and of itself. So those are the five unique cards in Game Night. So Game Night comes out November 16th, almost my birthday. Almost, almost but not my quite. Birthday. Not quite. Not quite. Uh, if you're going to give me a birthday present, chat, uh, these are fine. These all are these fine. Are <laughs> all these products the, the, are is fine. Is it Guild Kit would probably is be the top kit? of my list. Is it? Is it on the top of your list? <sighs> oh, my, uh, yes. Yeah, all right. Uh, so Game Night comes out November 16th, and it is... Uh, $39.99 uh, MSRP in North America only. So la last for the unboxing, yeah, we have to move on to the gift pack. Gift pack. So uh, gift yeah, the gift pack. pack is kind of intended for um, uh, people who don't know what to get their, their magic friends or family. Yeah. Uh, and this is, it, it's meant to be more of a starter-ish sort of thing. Um, intended for newer players. There are, uh, as you can see on the front, there are five unique cards. Uh, and again, these are standard legal, but they are not particularly intended to uh, move in competitive magic. Some of them are, some of them are kind of cool for new cards. The, uh, the Phoenix doesn't die. The, the green one pumps all your creatures. So they're they're very much made for uh, newer players just starting out a collection and uh, who want that kind of wow factor. So not only do they come with that, they come with uh, foil dual, or not dual lands, that would be amazing. That would be insane. Uh, not meant for, for yeah. new players. Yeah. Foil basic lands, uh, which are very cool and very pretty, and you can see right from the start. But this is a starter product. Um, so we've done a lot of things like this in the past. So I would say that this is something to buy for someone who's maybe just tried out uh, the Welcome deck, and they like what they see, or maybe they just graduated from the Spellslinger starter kit to something like this. Yeah, and there, so there, I'll show, I'll show off the, the cards that come in in a second, but there are also four Core Set 2019 booster packs in here as well. Yep. So you're getting four Core Set 2019 booster packs plus... Uh, these very nice lands we have here. I know that they're not in move work order. I apologize. Uh, He's fired. There's also a. Uh, there's a. I'm not going to show this on on screen because <laughs> it's, it's got a code. Yeah, because it has a code on it. But um, there's an arena code in here. Yep. And what the arena code for this one uh, does is it gets you access 
to the five creatures that are uh, that headline this product, right. that are unique to this product. So Angelic Guardian, Angler Turtle, uh, Vengeant Vampire, Immortal Phoenix, and Rampaging Brontodon. Yep. That wasn't Uber Order. And mm -hmm. it's going to bug me, so... Thanks, Steve. That's much better. Yeah, I, I kind of thought so, <laughs> right? So, yeah, that, those are the contents of the gift pack. The gift pack comes out November 16th. Yes, uh, same day as game night. Same day, same day as game night. Uh, November 16th, uh, 1999. Uh, in no, not, no, no, not November 16th, 1999, Blake. November mm. 16th, 2018. God. It will That's... be 1999 mm. MSRP. MSRP in North America only is $19.00. And 99 cents. Thank you, Blake. You're welcome, I'm very, Steve. I'm very glad that this product <laughs> didn't come out, you know, 19 years ago. Uh, chat, if you have any questions about any of the products that we just showed off, feel free to put them in chat, and our lovely moderator will send them to me on this magic talking device, and uh, I will try to answer them. Uh, for now, we're going to move on to some upcoming things. Yeah, we've got some, uh, some interesting stuff coming up. Yep. Uh, as we do from time to time, yeah. once in a while. Yeah. Uh, we have a test, correct, like coming up, a yeah. test of a product? Yeah, so it's, it's a small test. It's a test we're running on a product only in uh, Japan and a very small amount in North America. When I say very small, I mean very few people are going to find this. First of all, there is no unique content right, in so. this product. It's, it's more a different way to distribute cards. Uh, so it's going to be with... RNA, uh, Ravnica Allegiance, and it's going to be Ravnica Allegiance cards, mm -hmm. uh, and it's going to be what we're calling a collector booster for the time being. Again, this is a test. We have no idea if we're going to do this again. Yeah. Uh, we don't know how this is going to go. We don't know if people like this, but we're going to try it. And we're trying new things. Yep. yep. So uh, this is a, a, a test product that we're kind of aiming at the people who maybe who have drafted a bunch, who maybe have opened a box or something, and they have a lot of the commons and stuff, and they want a uh, different experience when they're opening a pack. Sure. So, uh, again, very small amount in North America, a little bit more in Japan. Japan hobby stores, North American uh, uh, big box, well, just a couple big box yeah. stores. I wouldn't go looking for these at most places. Right. But. And, again, just a test run. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so these are going to have an MSRP in North America only. <laughs> this is it's the lawyers. They watch. Yep. Uh, $12.99. Okay. And it's going to be a pack of 15 cards. And in that pack will contain uh, two premium foils of any rarity. So those could be commons, uncommons, rares, mythic rares. Mm -hmm. uh, three rares or mythic rares. Three in one pack. Uh, and then ten uncommons. Okay. So with the exception of the, uh, the premium foil cards, you cannot get commons in this booster pack. So uh, you're going to get three rares, two foils. And then 10 uncommons. uncommons right. Yeah. Uh, again, very small amount of these. We're testing some number in Japan hobby stores. We're testing a much smaller number in a select few North America markets. And there will be no, no unique content. Nope. In it's these just boosters. all yeah. RNA stuff. Yeah. Uh, so you may, you may see these out and about. Yeah. You may see people talking about them. Don't be surprised when they do. You won't see them most places. You're right. not going to run down your local game store or your local big box store, you're probably not going to see them in North America, um, though there will be a small amount. Right. So that's it, just a test, calling in Collector Booster, and we'll see what people think. Yeah. Um, well, we, yeah. I, I know what I want to see, and I, I'm sure the people it's that the are holiday watching, it's promo. the new holiday promo, 2018 yeah. holiday promo. Mm -hmm. I have always loved these things ever yep. since, uh, even before I came into the building, ever since Wizards has, mm -hmm. has done them. I think they're a really cool way to celebrate the holidays, a yeah. uh, really nice way to... To, you know, get get a little magic into the holidays, as it were. Yeah. You know, no pun intended, but, like, actual actual pun intended. Because uh, all of these cars have puns. Yes. This and is that, one place where puns are okay. Yeah, and I, that's that's one of the reasons why I love these, these yeah. cars. I think uh, we did one called Seasons Beatings one Seasons year. Seasons Beatings, Snow Mercy. Fruitcake Elemental. Fruitcake Elemental. That one, one was less of a pun. It was, but it was it an was elemental kind of, fruitcake. Yeah, yeah. Stocking Tiger was yep. one that we mentioned earlier. That's um good. What was uh, Mishra's Toy Workshop? Mishra's Toy Workshop. That one's actually really powerful. That one really is. It's really good. Insane. Yeah. Uh, so I'm sure I'm sure that everybody out there really wants to see what the holiday promo is. Should we show it to them? I think we should. Just one note before we show you how cool this thing is. Uh, 
these are cards that we give out to kind of friends and family and people we've right. worked with. Uh, so these aren't totally widespread. A lot of times these make their ways out into people's binders and whatnot. But mostly this is something that Wizards of the Coast employees get and also give to people that they work with um, or that are nearby. I say friends and family. Family doesn't get these. Yeah. We, we give them to people we work with. Our, our um, extended Wizards of the Coast family. Our extended Wizards were. of the Coast family. So, we, you know, we'll give them to distributors or get them, everyone who yeah. writes for Daily MTG gets yep. one. Um, you know, people who do coverage, that kind of stuff. Exactly. So, uh, we send out a lot of these, but they're pretty cool. So They're, they're like the actual holiday greeting cards that people yeah. send out. And to, we often send yeah. out greeting cards along with exactly. them. Exactly. So, uh, well, we've talked a lot about what it is and how it is that people might see it out in the wild. So yep. let's go ahead and show it. I know that we have a graphic ready. Yeah. Yes, it's called Bog Humbugs. Bog Humbugs. It's like Bah Humbug, but <laughs> for bogs. So again, it has, it says Happy Holidays on there, 2018. Nice it's got little, the little, little star stamps. symbol. Yep. Um, so the ability, so it's a 1-1 one, one flyer for two mana, creature, insect. Uh, when Bog Humbug deals combat damage, hum that many notes of a festive song. Which we can't do because we're on the... Well, yeah. we no, can do... No, 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 no. Some, there's some. Yeah. <laughs> Steve might do it. Uh, <laughs> if you can, put a plus one, a plus one, plus one counter on Bog Humbug. So basically, the first time it hits, you have to sing one note. Mm -hmm. Anyone should be able to do that. Because yes. literally any note probably counts. Right. Uh, and then it becomes a two-two. And then next time it hits, you got to sing or hum two notes. Yeah. And then three and then four. And if you manage to, you know, cast Giant Growth on it or something like that... Ah, yeah, yeah. Wait. So, so here's the thing. Uh, eleven. There, there are eleven notes at the bottom of this uh, this card in the flavor text. Hmm. So you should, you should, if you can identify that this is a festive song, be set for, uh, be set for eleven, eleven times. I think I know what the song is. Oh, good. I'm we, not gonna. Well, I don't want to give it away. No, we don't. Let's not give it away. Let's let let's let everybody figure. I it can't out read music though, so I could be way off. <laughs> I think, I think it's the song we were talking about before the show. It is. Okay. It is indeed. You, cool. You've correctly identified it. Cracked the code. Uh, if you want to see it up closer, we do have copies of the card, so I'm going to put it in the close-up cam. Yep. So you can sort of see what it looks like all shiny, because it is a premium foil card. And we'll move over to that camera in just a moment. Mm -hmm. There we go. And That's me humming. Uh, you'll notice the foil, or the, uh, the, the foil, yes, and the silver border treatment, so this is not a tournament legal card. Uh, it's just kind of fun. Yeah. For your I, I casual do, games at I home. I do enjoy the foiling on this one in particular. I love mm -hmm. the little little uh, holiday lights behind the bog humbugs. Mm -hmm. uh, it's adorable. It is. It's adorable. Yeah. It's extremely adorable. But this is a, yeah, this is a really fun thing that we do, you know, every once in a while. Yeah. Every every holiday Every holiday. Season, season, in fact, yeah. yeah. But yeah, that's, uh, that's stuff that's coming up. Uh, you know, looking forward to seeing some of these in the wild. The guild kits. Uh, looking forward to people being able to represent their favorite guilds of Ravnica Looking guilds. forward to me being able to represent my favorite guilds of Ravnica Maybe we guilds. can finally get a pin on you. Maybe. Finally get a pin on Might. you. It'd be nice, you know. Yeah, we'll and uh, And uh, for those of you that are worried that, oh, my, my guild's not represented here, you don't have to worry about it, we are planning guild kits for yep. Ravnica Allegiance as well. Yep. Uh, so we do have a couple questions from chat. So oh, there's great. still time. Yeah. Keep sending us questions if you've got some uh, some good ones. We'll talk about them. What do we got, Blake? Uh, how were reprints determined for the guild kits? I don't actually know the answer to that. Uh, so I talked a little bit with uh, with a few people who made these, and uh, the goal was basically to one represent. And we talked a little bit about this. Mm -hmm. Represent every guilds of every Ravnica set that we've ever done. Right. So, so each of these has cards from across. Um, the Ravnica, the three times we visited Ravnica. Ravnica block, return to Ravnica block, and now Guilds of Ravnica, yep, the set. Absolutely. Uh, and then from there, it was a process of like fitting the pieces together. They wanted to represent, of course, uh, some of the exciting new cards. Uh, they wanted to make sure that there were legends uh, at the front of them, because we've got the cool new treatment, and getting mm -hmm. some of those uh, foil and new art. Um, and then, uh, then it was just determination of... What did the decks want to do? How do the cards want to work together? I mean, if you look at the Golgari one, for example, um, dredge, dredge as a theme mm -hmm. wouldn't work, but like sprinkling a little bit of dredge in there is fine. Graveyard matters, essentially. Yeah. yeah. And, and so, um, you know, the Celestia one, obviously they have a lot of Convoke there. So uh, once they determined kind of the, the headline of the deck, 
It was just a matter of filling in and going back across all of Ravnica and filling it in and then making sure everything was, was represented. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, next question. Will there ever be another spell book? So these are referring to the oh, signature, the signature spell book. Jace's yeah. signature spell book. Yeah. Um, we aren't announcing future products on this show today, but I will say we called it Jace's signature spell book. There are other planeswalkers. There are out other there. planeswalkers out there. I yeah yeah. Chad, do you do you want to see another signature spell book? That's how we do it. Yeah. Do, is that something you'd that like to see? That sounds like something you'd like to see. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got the I did get the Jace one um, and. See, my foil was Jace Bellerin, oh, nice. the actual like Planeswalker, which plane was really walker. cool. Uh, I had it in my Canadian Highlander deck for a while just because it was so cool. It's really cool looking. Oh, I took it out last minute. It's, I, well, go I don't later. know. The, the patron mage of blue may have something to say about that. I know. It, well, it, it's, he's kind of like, if Muldrifter weren't my spirit animal, <laughs> Jace Bellerin would be. Yep. Because anyway. yep. not only do you get to draw a card, everybody draws a card with Sometimes. Jace Bellerin. It's all, it's all draw all yeah. the time. Yeah. Uh, next, we got a question. When is Heroes of Dominaria coming out? I saw Gen Con and want to buy in time for the holidays. Mm. Um, again, I'm not announcing products on this, but I would expect news on this soon. Yeah, you should look. Uh, th that, that's a, for those that are wondering, Heroes of Dominaria is a board game made by yep. uh, WizKids. Yes. It, based on Dominaria. And uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully we'll, there'll be something about that soon. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. There, there will be something. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll stay see. tuned. Yeah, stay yeah. tuned. Stay tuned. Um, so that is all the questions I have yeah. on Twi on uh, from Twitch chat. So uh, yeah, again, let's let's roll through one more time all the things we got coming out. So we talked about Spellsinger Starter Kit, which yep. is already out. Uh, I'm going to say a bunch of MSRPs. Every MSRP I'm about to say only applies to only. North America only. North America only. North America only. I'll just chime in You're with North welcome America welcome only. Yeah, after, right. afterwards. Uh, Spellsinger Starter Kit um, already out. Fourteen ninety nine. That's intended for new players, and that's in North America only. It's, yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, guild kits come out next week. Yeah, next Friday. Yep, November second. Those are nineteen ninety nine in North America only. Thank I'm you. Sorry for being North America only. <laughs> uh, game night and gift pack go both come out November sixteenth. Game night is the out of the box multiplayer experience. That is thirteen. Sorry, nope. thirty nine ninety nine MSRP in North America only. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> and uh, the gift pack, uh, which comes with some unique cards, some foil lands, and some booster packs, that is nineteen ninety nine MSRP in North America only. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Uh, and then yeah, we'll do the uh, collector booster test. Very small test. We'll see how it goes. And you should start seeing holiday uh, promo cards in the wild as we get closer to the holidays. We're going to start sending them out soon to, to cool people. Uh, additionally, if you are interested in learning more about any of these products, they do, I believe, have product pages on MagicTheGathering.com. Most of them. Uh, the Guild Kits yeah. do. The Guild Kits have. The Guild Kits do. Yeah. We've written articles about them. Just do a search for any of these product names, yeah. and you should be able to find that. And uh, if you're interested in the deck list specifically for the Guild Kits, I know those also live those, those, on Daily MPG. Yep, that they do. Yeah. Uh, next week, we have a real treat. So, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm actually really excited about this. Yeah, so yeah. we're going to have um, uh, Luis Salvato and Seth Manfield on the program via Skype. They're not going to be in the office. Currently tied for Player of the Year. Tied for Player of the Year. So they're both going to be in Atlanta next week, but we're going to talk to them over Skype about their upcoming... Uh, player of the Year Playoff. Yeah. Playoff. So that's coming November 8th. Yep. We're going to interview them November 1st. Yes. And so then you can prepare for it, and you can... Yep. We can we can sort of gauge how their how their competition. Also, our show be. is on Thursdays, and I don't think yeah, talking to us the day of their playoff is going to be high on their you list. You think that's not days. a priority for? I them? don't think it's a priority. Yeah. So we're going to talk to them next week, 2 p.m. Pacific time on Thursday on Weekly MTG. Yeah. Uh, can't wait to have them on the show and uh, ask them about the Player of the Year race this year, which has been yeah, amazing. it's been it's been a pretty big roller coaster ride is a is a cliche, but I think I think it's yeah. fair to use in this case. Came r literally down to the wire. Yeah, so. pretty awesome. So look forward to that. Uh, we've got Kenji Igishira coming up next. Yeah. He's going to be playing some at Gathering Arena, and we'll see you next week. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>